What's up? What up? <laughs> we got Ukasa in the building. Facts. Well, yeah, so, yeah. Working. Call him in my city where he coming from. That, that track yeah. is... Yo, we've been that. playing that since... I've been playing that, yo. man. Shout out to Audi Raw up on the production. Shout out to Audi. Oh, he's like, high right now. Yeah, Audi the, been, the, we did Mook shit, yeah, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 okay. Yo, Audi's been... He from working. Harlem, too? Yes. Yeah. Woo, Harlem is working. Young boy on the come up. Young yes. boy. Yeah, yes. playing with niggas. Nah, I love Harlem. Audi, Audi been out for a minute. Me and Audi was was in hood presence together. It was all of us like with Jaque. Yeah, that uh, was all Harlem Fox. shaking all and Harlem. dancing and yeah. all that. Hey, yeah. hey, hey! That's he good. was the one who said, if "That's your man's tag man." Remember, he come from the uh, yeah, yeah. I remember the, uh, Audi Jackie. Had... He come from the old Don Jackie mm -hmm. crew too. Yeah, cause I don't know. You don't look like you was dancing. <laughs> nah, I was dancing. I, Ukasa, dude, nah, I, don't, I yeah. witnessed it myself. I came up. I came up dancing. Yeah. in the 90s, Yeah. Yo, at, at, nah, I'm talking about like not dancing in the, up in the air. I'm talking about dancing how they was dancing. Nah, I was getting busy. Was getting like, what? Yeah. 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 Yo, Ukasa was lit like now. Fun. Hold on, like, we like we all the niggas dance though. Like we don't fuck a nigga up, but we like the party. We like the party. Especially from the hill, we like the party. That's right. Word. Yo, what's up, man? Working, bro. <laughs> I see yeah. you busy, man. I don't even know where to start. Yeah, yeah. man. I mean, you you just dropped the the Diddy Dance. That song is just so yeah, that's fire. Yeah, Vanilla Scott project. Guys, tell us tell us a little bit about who Unkasa is. Like, we know. I want the fans and everybody out there to uh, know who Unkasa is. Grammy nominated. Uh, yeah, throw the record yeah, around. Throw the record around. Throw the record around. Throw me a nominated on the Diplomat album. I sold over 250,000 units independently uh, <laughs> on clothing line. Uh, we like number three and number four right now for the top web series. We nominated for a new web series award with the Brooklyn Way. Shout out to the whole cast. My man Gap Murder, Cranberry and Vodka Clothing. Um, my sneaker I dropped with Reebok, The Night Pool. I'm dropping another one. I saw that. Mm -hmm. Sky. I saw that. Uh, Busy movie, uh, Love Hurts come 2017. Okay. Um, not playing with these niggas. Executive producing Jewel's next um, next mixtape. Yeah, yeah. shit. He's, He's got some heat. Yeah. I got the heat from him too. And let me add this on his resume too. Ancasa got the highest, most viewed battle in King of the Ring. Yeah, that's that. that, that I need Ever. a plaque for that. He got the highest view battle in King of the Ring. Like that's a that's a whole another story. Yeah, that was do. blessed. That was blessed. We did that for uh -huh. F facts. Or that was six years ago. Time flying. Boy. Time is flying. Oh, we back. Damn. We back. January thirteenth. We back. Facts. We King of the Ring. We yeah, 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 back. yeah. We, it's it's gonna be dope, man. We got a dope event. Yeah. So tell us. So who and what was like your biggest inspiration in the music game? Michael Jackson. And he got the got bad hat on. Yeah, no, Mike Tat. I got the, I got a, a whole collection of Michael Jackson shit for Cranberry and Vodka. See, so you and right now is is you? Who said that to Jack Thriller? Jack is like one of the biggest like Michael Jackson fans, and then he ain't got him tatted. See, you got that one though. He ain't got, <laughs> he ain't got the chain either. I got the chain too. See, we gotta tell Jack to step it up, step it up, cause he yeah. came. He the biggest Michael Jackson fan ever. I got real Michael Jackson memorabilia for real, like shit that I signed. I got, I got shit in the attic for real. Oh, he got classic. He got shit. Classic. Stop playing with him. I got artwork drawn by Michael Jackson himself mm. in the archives that was given to me as gifts. I don't so, think Jack got that. No, either. I don't think he got that either. So tell us a little bit about you growing up and, and about your your childhood and. What really got you to be in this in this music industry? Well, I grew up in Harlem, um, up the hill, 151 <coughs> between Amsterdam and Broadway. Shout out to the Montville up there, Battlegrounds. I was I was raised up that end, so I seen a lot, a lot of drug trafficking. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, police brutality, crooked cops, murders, that type of shit. With, along with a lot of fun. Real, when I grew up in Harlem, it was real cultural. You know what I'm saying? We had we still have Mark 125 or 125th with all the vendors outside. I remember shit that. like that. The concerts at the state building and shit. I grew up I grew up in the dope era of Harlem. Uh, I grew up around the Rich Porters, the AZs, the Darnell Porters, God bless their soul. I got a Rich Porter tattoo too. Mm. And a sheepskin with Rich Porter on there. I, I rap I rap where I'm from heavy. Um I grew up me. I grew up like two blocks away from Jewel's, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little older than him, but, but that's my little bro. Little big bro. 
because he, 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 he big in status, but that's my little bro. But, um, grew up hustling, you know what I'm saying? My mom's was a hustler, my pops was a hustler, you know what I'm saying? And uh, all they did was play music. They, they, my crib was the party house on the weekends, you know what I'm saying? My mom's throw parties, big ass speakers. Damn, shit like that. that's the old school shit. Back, back, lit. lit. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I grew up. I grew up around music, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere. My grandmother's house, my mother's house, my pop's house. Music, nothing but music. I wasn't into sports. I can't tell you the lineup on no team. I can tell you, I can tell you, I can tell you about albums and shit like that, documentaries, shit like that, books. I can't tell you nothing about sports. I'm not really a big sports fan. Right. I got. I want to ask you, how did you land on the first verse on Dipset's first album? How? How? Check this. Um, I always wanted to know this anyway. Cam. Cam called me to the studio one day after, like, he was recording the um, Diplomat Community album and his album. So everybody was like in the studio and I was like fucking up on a verse. Which album? Come Home With Me? Yeah, okay. I was fucking a verse up because I was kind of nervous. Biggs, I walked in, Beans, Jigga, Dame, I was like, damn. <laughs> So it was like my, yeah, my attention. So he was crazy. like, get the fuck out the booth. Get your shit straight. And I left. So the next day he called me like, where the fuck you at? I'm like, I'm in the hood. Yo, yo, you better be on my block in 10 minutes. Nigga pulled up, took me to the studio. And the way the intro went, the mic was on. Like, that was a real conversation. Like the diplomat intro. Mm -hmm. Like the engineer just happened to record it. And that's how I caught but I ain't never know what Cam was gonna throw down the album because when I recorded that, I moved to Chicago and I signed with Lupe Fiasco. I had a deal with First and 15, okay. you know what I'm saying? So um, one day I think I went to go get some Dutchess from the um, like the local store and I bought the Double XL with 50, Eminem and Dre on the cover and they was they had the just on the biography of whoever was dropping albums that year and who was doing the intros and who did the beat and when I looked in and it said Uncasa the Diplomat yeah. intro I dropped the book that's how I mm. found that I was on the Diplomat album. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Did that's you keep great. the magazine? Yeah, I still got that magazine so to this day. That, that was crazy, right? Yeah, you keep to this it, day, see? to this day, that's, that's, that, so nigga, that's 13 years ago. How to many other day. joints you got produced by Kanye? I got a few. Kanye I know got, you got some in the tuck. I got, I got a couple. He got a couple in the tuck. Last time I seen him, he said, you know, I still got that such and such. Because the beat that's on the Diplomat intro is not the original beat that he did because of the sample. The sample couldn't get clear. He got the original. I went on for like eight more minutes. Uh, he, got, he got all that shit. You was going off. I thought, basically, I was. I thought that... You was the artist they was gonna put out after the album because the way it just had it, it was set supposed up like to be that. like that. Well, it was a lot of bullshit going on them days. It, it was crazy, but I ain't tripping. It, it made me who I am today. I ain't tripping about nothing. And what's what? What was the um like the um uh like what was stunning you from going and stepping up to that success bracket? Like what was stopping that? A lot of hate, a, a lot of not compromising with a lot of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas don't understand. I've been had record deals. I had a record deal before Cam. I had a record deal before Jewels. I was signing the Black Round Records with Timberland and Aaliyah. Yeah, that's the label. Yep, yep, yep. In, in 1998, I know what to have a million dollars in a budget is. It started like this. I got discouraged after, because due to staff changing, the, um, they just won't even, even shelf me or I, I left. So I left with like 850000 you know what I'm saying? And From I, Black Ground. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I left. That's when the labels was given yeah, out. You know what that, was, that, was a, that was a bonus. So like. I left. You know, I got records with Timberland, Leah, all types of shit. So they kept that catalog and I left. Around that time, I was just battling niggas in the streets and hustling in the streets heavy. Like, heavy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So Ended up on Smack. Ended up on Smack. You know what I'm saying? I had... I was sick on smack. I had a fever. I wasn't even supposed to do that battle, but niggas was talking shit, so I, I can't. You had to shut you know him up. <laughs> That's all hot. Listen, you had to keep it real hard on him. Now, and him and Rex is cool. Shout out to smack, though. He don't call me for none of them battles. And me and Rex help make that shit. Like, I understand what you're doing now, but we help create, create that, yeah, that shit right now. Yeah, like, to where it's at now, to where, like, niggas don't even invite niggas to a battle. I don't want to be in no battle. There ain't nothing you can give me to make me battle again. 
I walk around with 20 in my pocket. Me and my little bro just counted some, some real paper, like, bro, for my, for my clothing line. I don't need that battle rap shit. Like, for real. His last battle was on King of the Ring. I made, I made $17,000 in cranberry and vodka pens just this month. Mm. So tell, let's get into, before we get into Vanilla Skies, let's get into the clothing line cranberry vodka. Mm. That I mean, fits him, though. Yeah, it does. And the brand is, is dope. Like, my, my homegirl was just telling me she got people from Miami that knows about your brand. Like, the brand is definitely a big brand. And how did you get the whole concept of coming out with, like, something like cranberry vodka? Like, All right. After the skull gang, I'm going to break it down. I'm just keep it real with the people. After the skull gang um, shit fell through, I got depressed. <clears throat> I ain't want to do shit no more. I moved away to uh, Bushkill, PA, Gator Community. Grew a big, got low. I just stayed on the internet and read books. I studied everything, music, what was the sounds going on, what niggas was wearing. And I came up with this idea. I got high, I was smoking some wax and some cookies. Mm. And I said, yo, what if I turn Mickey Mouse, what if I turn I Mickey Mouse to, what if I combined the Mickey Mouse and Biggie Smalls together, what would I have? I have Mick Papa. So I came up with the idea and I called one of my artists, my homeboys and shit. I was like, yo, draw me up, draw me up. Mickey Mouse with a Cool G and a Jesus piece. And he drew it. It was dope. Then somebody on the internet seen it and hit me. It was like, yo, I charge you a little bit more, but I do it like this and then send a mock up. I was like, yo, I want that. I just ain't have no name for my clothing line. CIAA Weekend. Um, I was at a Jeezy party. And you know, in North Carolina, even if you buy the bottles, they lock your shits up in cage and you gotta wait till a waiter come to open your shit. Due to violence, they don't want nobody to get hit with bottles and shit like that, so they lock your shit up in, in a cage. Like the hookah cage. Yeah, so this girl came through and she was like, what you wanna drink, you want champagne, cranberry and vodka? And when she said that, some said, bing, I said, there go. I said, yeah, cranberry and vodka. And I wrote the name down on my phone and I sent it to my man. I said, yo, what you think about this for a clothing line? He's like, you got it, all right? And then for me, I made one sweatsuit. The sweatsuit was just, I needed something to wear. And I made it, and then I took a picture on Instagram, and then I started getting like 100 DMs. Niggas like, I need that, I need that, I need that, I need mm -hmm. that. Oh, and that's how I got it. Telling you, because the, the brand is definitely everywhere. I love it. I'm going to cop some shit for my birthday. So, Cranberry Vodka is out. So, where do you see yourself? Do you get any sales from like, you know, different areas? like? Well, my uh, brand, I guess, I was like from Japan, London, China, Japan, you get it? Australia, all over. Like, it's it's big amazing. Places right? I never touched, plus like, like with my own two feet, my music and my clothing reached there. So I'm mm. there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's amazing. Like people that came and speak English, they know my like. I got people that DM me videos. They don't know no English, but sing, sing the whole Vanilla Sky CD. See, it's amazing. It's just. It's it's so amazing. So let's get into this Vanilla Sky. This yeah. is the e your EP. Yeah, it's the your EP. Did you you dropped it? You just dropped it on Halloween. Yeah. Right. So let's get into Vanilla Sky. Tell us a little bit about how you got the idea of dropping this EP. Cause you haven't dropped anything in a little minute. Yeah, I ain't dropped nothing in like three years. The last one I dropped yeah. was the wait is over. Um, I was in the house binge watching TV and shit. You know. I was just watching movies for a name. I said, I don't give a fuck about the movie. The movie and the CD is not gonna be, it's not gonna be related. I just need a name. And I knew a movie would have did it. So I'm watching Untouchables. I'm like, nah, that shit's corny. And I was watching all tight Twilight Zone and shit. I was like, nah, I want something that sound dope. And then I'm just flicking, and you know how the, the covers be on the pages I'm flicking through? And then it stopped on Vanilla Sky, and I said, yo, that's the next tape. That, that, that quick? Yeah. Because when it cranberry hit, and vodka like that, wait a sec, cranberry I, and vodka, I know, it's clover line. Because I, I know, if, said, I know when it's straight. Like if you listen to the Vanilla Sky tapes, Jewels is telling you, like I'm the reason he did the Chris Brown running song. When I first heard that song, before Jewels ever thought about Chris Brown or even knew who he was, I was living in Syracuse. That's my DJ right there. Shout out to Cielis. He been around me since he was 16 years old. And we got the same birthday. He my DJ that he traveled the country with. He played Chris Brown running on one of his tapes. And I was like, yo, that song is dope. Just so happens, I went to Juel's studio like two weeks after. 
this lady named Tina Davis, which is Chris Brown's manager, shout out. She was like, I got this kid from Virginia. He used to live in Harlem a few years ago. His name is Chris Brown. It's like, yeah, he got the running record, right? She was like, you know about us? I said, yeah, my, my DJ play that shit all the time. So I was like, yo, Jewels, that's that record. That's that record. The manager was in the studio, Chris Brown manager? Yeah. Okay. She left. She brought Chris Brown back. Chris Brown was doing all the dances and all that shit. He was like, yo, I need you to get on this record. We're going to be in the video, such and such. You know, Els was getting older, so he wasn't really on it like that. Cam and Big Joe had told him, like, yo, you growing up. You too kiddie for this record. I woke that nigga up 6 in the morning, like, yo, you better get on this fucking record. I woke him up in the studio, like, yo, um, what the fuck, yo, my nigga, what's up? I'm like, yo, bro, that, that Chris Brown record, that's your 106 in Park. That's your... That's your TRL. Mm -hmm. That's your that's your tour right. money. Yeah. It's like you sure? I say, yo, bro, I'll roll you up as many blunts. Do all the verse to that record. He was like, <laughs> that's how, yo, how you bribe no, no, yeah, little I, I said, yo, if you don't feel like rolling up, I'll roll it. Just do the verse. So he said, all right, it's about seven in the morning. He did, went in the booth, check it, check it out. The Santana, it's like it's send it back, right? Next thing I know, he like, yo, um. Uh, I was on probation. I couldn't even go nowhere. He's like, yo, um, I'm about to go to shoot that video, that Chris Brown shit. I said, look, I told you, watch this. Next mm -hmm. thing I know, we sitting in this, his, this is when he lived in um, Palisades Park. He had just got his first apartment. We sitting in there, 106 in Park. That shit was number five. Next day was number two. Next day was number one. TRL, number, number one. one. Listen, mm -hmm. he just got a call for 10 days. We go on, on, on tour with Lil Wayne, this, that, and that. I said, look. See? Nigga that's made how they seven, got that relationship. That nigga made seven M's off that tour. Damn. Wow. Wow. Well, at least we know Joel's is loyal to you. Cause nah, that's my like, bro. He listen to anything I say. From all these records that he pointed out now, he just listening. He had these shits for a minute. He just renewed. He just made niggas do their verses over now, all this shit. Y'all niggas ain't hear nothing. Every Monday, he coming back kicking ass. He got mm. that shit with Dave that, East. Yeah. Rowdy, Rowdy 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 Rowdy. Got the shit with yeah. Method Man, Red Man, mm -hmm. um, Buster. She, Bust on it. That's fire yeah. too. Kiss. That's just fire. Definitely. We say get the beat over on that, right? Yeah. On which like one? That. The one with Jalil um, did it. Bust on them. But bust on them. Oh, had a Lil from Philly. Yeah, Jalil. Yeah. Lit, lit, lit. So we gonna get into some more tunes. We gonna, we gonna get some play more, some more music. We gonna play some more music. Then we gonna hear some bars. You got some bars for us? Cause Come on, I stop. <laughs> Come on, stop. Right. Crazy got. I want unlimited bars, baby. I need to hear some bars, cause you know Ukasa come from Harlem. You heard? Know that. You know where I come from. Stand you already up. know it's your girl Liz Chanel representing Crime Season Radio. Check us out from every, every, every goddamn Tuesday from 8 to 10 p.m. We got Scott Morris and Asian Golden in the building. We're going to tune in with them soon. Yeah. You ready, Mike? You ready, Kasha? Nigga, see I'm back on my bullshit, yeah, they probably right. I don't give a fuck about nothing, I take somebody life. Come through the block in the wraith, that shit is Molly White. Inside codeine purple, just like somebody Sprite. Kalinsky, I'm the world you've been looking for. Oh, Ricky Kane, when you cook it all, no water. Add ammonia, both peep, no soda. I sell Yola, this whole building a foul odor. Little niggas, let them hype y'all up. I go to hell and smack the devil just to light my butt. Make a meal, give a take, and I light six months. Ride around all summer in the ice cream truck. Yeah, my youngest got the thunderclap I scream, ho oh. Niggas come running like the Thundercats I'm on the block where y'all niggas don't wanna trap I get in the booth, make a nigga don't wanna crap Black. Hold up, I ain't done with niggas hmm. Check it <laughs> Weed, I smoke louder than the rock band I'm riding through the hood in the drop head All black inside, stop red The shooter on my side, I'll leave a cop dead Stash box probably got a Mac in it Every cockle pocket got a rack in it From that white boy, call it Mac Miller My rap flow sound like a crack dealer East Coast body, a West Coast cat pillar Up North Hustler, down South Trap nigga I'm a transporter, so I get it back quicker I'm the transporter, so I get it back quicker I'm the backpack, crack, track, track ripper uh, Too bad, drippers call it track tripper Go dolphin in that pussy, yeah, I'm that flipper None of y'all compare to me as that nigga Rolly on the arm, call it Jimmy Carter Best world blue like Ivy Carter That's $50,000 worth of frozen water Y'all ain't catch that metaphor, that's Hova daughter mm. Okay, 
okay? Some like Play some more shit. Play some more shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my shit. Oh. Change the beat up. I see it. Niggas, it's the 2016, which poor nigga. People want to go on YouTube and see them rap on. Nah, niggas be playing, man. Most of mine. We try to. I man. just felt the hard Yo, man. Casa, good luck for coming through one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Casa, thank you for definitely coming Anytime through. y'all need me, I'm dropping that Vanilla Sky 2 New Year's Day. Soon as the ball drop that. Drops. Play on my birthday. Oh, I'm getting that. I'm going to play it's my good. grandma's birthday, too. See me the sweetest ever. Uh, I'm so getting it. I'm picking my own single off of it. I got you. That's how I do. I put my own single, and that's to be the joint that's I play. Joint. Fact, you know how I am. Matter of fact, this is what we gonna do. Send me your email, and I'm gonna send y'all some exclusives to play on Christmas. Say no more. From the New Year's tape. Say no more. Let's go to go get part one right now yeah. on my mixtape for that piss. Go check the Diddy Dance video. Go talk. Uh, Fire. The uh, Get It Rocking video. I'm about to shoot like three more visuals off that. And then I'm gonna move into the visuals, and I got the movie coming. Featuring a lot of new Harlem MCs and shit. It ain't even a, ain't gonna be nothing to do with rap though. The movie is called Love Hurts. Good. Mm -hmm. That's that's what we need. Some creativity, man. man. We was talking about that. Talking about all that. these Word. web series and all that's all the same. We need something. Go some check substance. Substance. We up to episode eight now in the book. The way go check that's out. Binge watch that. that. If you ain't got nothing to do tonight, watch from one to eight. Um, what we, what we got going on? What we got? Cranberry and Rocket, you want the clothing line? 2017, the website come. But if you want the clothing line, hit me up at Cranberry and Vodka at Gmail. Cranberry N, the, the letter N, Vodka at Gmail. You can get the clothing on. Hit me on my Instagram, DM me. You can get it from me. Take a picture of something you like and tell me what type of idea. I'll cook it up for you. I go, like Because I do one-on-ones. Nobody ain't going to have the same sweatsuit you got. So. And he's executive it. producer Joel Santana oh, yeah. New Mixtape Yeah, yeah. I, I executive the uh, God willing shit too You know like what I'm it. saying Niggas ain't know that But you know I don't mean to toot my own horn But I'm an executive toot too You know Like I said Vanilla Sky 2 coming Cranberry and Vodka uh, Web Series The Brooklyn Way Cielis What's the name of your mixtape Coming He dropping one on New Year's too It's untitled right now But next time y'all speak to me You'll see the cover on my Instagram And all that Thanks to Vegan Lizzie for having me I'm You already right know man One more time My nigga I'm so much for coming and chilling with us We definitely definitely gonna chop it up with you When you drop that Vanilla Sky It's all I'm coming back it's I'm coming back for more bars for two next, yeah, time, next time I have some cranberry and vodka Just DM, DM y'all sizes to me Text me And I'll get that shit to y'all Say lit. no more baby Definitely Oh Casa Yeah I'm gonna bring some shit to Miami You heard it <laughs> <laughs>